At the beginning, it's really through network and reputation and contact that we started on this type of investments. We love investments and we were looking for ideas. At Pick the Wealth Management, we were very early investing private equity. One of our former partners established long-term relationship with these firms in the early 80s. I was on the board of the United Nations Pension Fund in New York and uh, had the opportunity to meet uh, Steve uh, Schwarzman, who founded Blackstone. Then, uh, in 1986, I remember being in Washington for the opening of the office of Carlisle. They were almost opening the door. I mean, there was uh, maybe uh, 10 people in the whole office. But as we were the first to join the cocktail party, if you like, at the very beginning of their operations, uh, we were always one of their favorites. Why did we launch uh, hedge funds in the early 2000s? Well, we thought we had uh, great investment talent, and these great fund managers had terrific short uh, ideas that they felt constrained, that they couldn't really exploit. And we felt that if we didn't give them room to expand, room to flourish, uh, we could be at risk of losing them. I was approached by former managing partner Claude de Mol to develop a long short strategy focusing on Asian equities, particularly China in the year 2000 for our wealth management clients. And that was the genesis of the Mandarin strategy I'm managing today. We do invest also in venture uh, pretty early, and Moderna is a good example because we were attracted to the fact that it was a platform. It was not a company like some biotech company where it's binary, either they have the right molecule or they don't. And then COVID happens, the company was ideally placed to answer to the problem of the world. We have developed a very strong culture of risk management, and we believe that this is a a very important way for us to generate performance. Well, there are three ways to manage risk in alternative investments, which almost always include some kind of leverage. One is you need to manage uh, the quality of your investments and know your investments. Second, manage your liquidity, match your liquidity. And third, manage your leverage. If you do all three, you should be fine. We've gone through many crises, the first one being LTCM in 1998. Then there was Amarant, a, a blow up and later, of course, the, the Madoff uh, problem. And we've been able to avoid all these uh, important problems in the industry. Our clients understand that we are not here to shine just for a year or two. We look to hire managers with a proven track record, combined with a rigorous approach to risk management. By doing this, we ensure continued success for our clients.